and welcome to my first day in Ankara, Turkey. I had a very early start today. I actually ended up waking up at 5 in the morning and getting out of bed at 5.30, which for me is crazy because I'm not a morning person, but just the way that the flights worked, we flew out of Boston at 11.30 p.m., got to Istanbul um, about eight, nine hours later, and then arrived in Ankara in the evening around 8, 8.30 p.m. Turkey time, and then went to bed again. So I slept on the flights, and then I slept for four hours in the hotel. So I think it evened out for the most part. My boyfriend and his boss already went to work. We already had breakfast. They went to work to do their um, conference meetings, whatever it is that they have to do. And I, last night, made a trip plan for myself. So I have a full day today to explore the city. I'm really excited. It's been about three years since I've been to Turkey and I've never been to Ankara. I've only been to Istanbul and a little port city on the western side called Kusadasi. So I'm excited and let's go. It's a little black cat. If I wasn't allergic, I always said I'd have a black cat. Here's another cat. They're everywhere. And right now, around the castle, there's just a bunch of these little winding streets. And these buildings, I remember reading online, they're restored Ottoman era buildings. So I'm just walking around this little bit, see what's here, then I think I'm gonna start heading back. So I'm quickly realizing most of these houses are empty on the inside. There's not much in any of them. You can see here, they seem to just be restored on the outside. But none of these. I don't know if it's because I'm here really early. It's around 9.30 in the morning and it's a weekday, um, but there's almost no one here. I've only seen a couple other tourists and then walking around the surrounding areas. It's pretty much just me and I've seen maybe five other locals. I wonder what he's looking for. Now I'm going back down the way that I came on my way to see the castle and it's this cute little, much more touristy, little cobbled street area. I found this cute little bear with flowers. I like him. The next area I want to go to is actually behind, in the direction behind me, but I wanted to quickly see what's going on on this side. I also see a bunch of stray dogs. There's three of them chasing There wasn't really other. much going on on the other side, so I'm sticking to my plan, and I'm basically already on the right road. The address that a travel site gave me was, it says one minute ahead from where I am. And this is a, it's called the Citadel, Citadel neighborhood. Sorry, the ground is a little rocky. Um, so I'm gonna explore it here. And there's three things I wanted to see in this neighborhood. It was the Eastern Tower and two more, which I'll put over here. There's also some sort of museum right next to me, but I'm deciding to skip it. I'm not really in the mood for a museum. Change of plan, my internet's really bad, so I'm kind of winging it right now. Okay, I found a little quiet corner where there's 
there's no people where I can film because I've had some issues. So I have a Turkish eSIM and I bought 20 gigabytes of data and it's not working. <laughs> It says I have 4G, roaming's on, everything should be good. I double, triple checked this. It's not loading. But thankfully, my Google Maps, I have the map itself and trying to go by street names, so old school style, which I'm not really used to, but I fingers crossed it'll be okay. It might just take me a little while longer. Um, so basically from the castle, I ended up going the direction I thought I wanted to go, but there wasn't really anything there and the three locations that I wanted to go to, they weren't showing up on maps. And then there was, I wanted to see the old town of Ankara that's been restored. It's a apparently very popular area. I think I walked through the old town. I'm pretty sure that was it. It does look like the photos. I took a couple of clips. Now my plan is to go into the very main part of Ankara. Make a detour, go through the bazaar and then come right back to where I am now. My little hiding filming spot and over here we have this view and down here over here is the bazaar I was telling you guys about. So let's see what's going on over there. I think I've found my way. I'm on street and I just need to follow it until I hit um, one of the main roads in Ankara from what Google said last night called Ataturk Boulevard and then I just go straight down that main road and then I'm gonna hit um, my next destination which is one of the main squares which starts with a K. I'll put the name up here. has very quickly turned into a massive highway. Okay, it's just me on the side of the highway. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm just gonna go. I just realized I'm supposed to be down here. So I have to go back and then I can go down there from here. All right, I made it onto Ataturk Boulevard and now I just follow it. It looks like it's a bit of a walk to Zimi Square, but I'm, I'm committed. I'm gonna do it. This is a mall. What was weird was at the entrance, you actually have to have your bag checked and go through a metal detector. And other than that, it looks pretty much like any other mall. I'm gonna look into Mango. I like looking in there and to Zara whenever I'm abroad. The plan is to just walk around this area. There's a lot going on. I ended up here, so that worked out really well. I'm gonna try to find the main entrance and see if I can go in. Circled the mosque and I've gone to the front, but there still isn't a clear entrance. I have no idea how to get into this mosque. It's been 15 minutes of me just circling it, trying to figure it out. Um, it's a little embarrassing. I, I don't know. But I have no idea how to get to this mosque. I finally found the entrance. It was right next to that park where I was eating my cheesecake. However, it's very not touristy and there's almost no one here. So I feel super awkward. There is no one here. I don't know what to do. In Istanbul, there was like a big tourist entrance. It seems like just seeing the mosque from the outside is the best I'm gonna get. 
So here's one final look. All right, that was a huge fail, but now I decided I'm gonna try to go to the Anis Kabir mausoleum, and I was hoping that I could use the metro, but apparently there's no way to get the use the metro to get there. So I, I don't I don't know. It's like a 45 minute walk, but I don't want to walk in case it goes through like a weird area. Like I just, I just don't know where I'm going. So I think the only way would be to get a cab. Um, so I'm going back to the main street that I used to, that I was on before, and I'm gonna try to get a cab from there because it's only a 10 minute drive, and it closes at five. So I do have quite a bit of time. Here's a nicer angle of the mosque. It really is beautiful. Here we are, I made it.
is behind me. There's museums in each of the buildings there. I went into one. Um, now I'm taking a break from that. I'm following this path through, looks like a park. Um, I'm gonna see what's down here and then on my way out, I'm going to hit the other three museums back there. And this is where I'm walking now. I have no idea where this goes. I just left the final exhibit, which was over here with the long line. For reference, here's the main monument. Here was the last one because from the monument, I went in this exhibit, down over here, then this exhibit, through here, here, to the third exhibit, and then over here. And this one was by far the biggest exhibit. These were all just like little ones. This, I'm pretty sure we go under, under the ground, and it had all I caught a bunch of it on video but it was just really in depth and this was definitely the most important Good morning everyone and welcome to Ankara day two so yesterday was my big tourist day when I went around and looked at everything and I pretty much checked everything off my list so I'm very happy about that and what I didn't film was after I came back I went to like a business dinner with my boyfriend and his boss and all his colleagues so that was really really fun and then they all went to a shisha bar later but I was way too tired I went to the hotel room and just passed out still didn't get a full eight hours it's still really early in the morning now but our checkout is at 9 30 so it's really early and I still need to go down to breakfast and like I just finished packing up the room and all that and I'm gonna bring our bags down and then I have a couple of hours to just go to go to the city because we're out of the city center so go to the city center just walk around relax um, probably get a coffee at a cafe or something and just enjoy my last stay here because when I get back we're taking a bus to Cappadocia which I hope I'm saying right. Everyone seems to have a different version of how you pronounce it. I'm super excited for that because we're gonna see the balloons at sunrise. I can't wait. <laughs> He's not going to eat that.
devil is still up. You wanna up? Yes. Yes. Okay, we will go to It's a swing. Hi. Who's so beautiful? Hi. Look, there's a little mini horse and a camel. Look at that! Look at the camels! Oh my goodness! It's got a friend.
going to take the story. Oh, this is this is a career. Hello. And there's more swimming. Thank you. I got you first. No. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get a time check. Kings in the crown, huh? Oh, it's one. Four. Now, one of the rocks is famous for looking like a camel. Here. Today is my last day in Cappadocia and I just finished breakfast. My boyfriend left this morning to get his flight to Istanbul and then from Istanbul they're connecting back to Boston and later today I'm hopefully gonna find a cab. I'm not exactly sure how to get to Gorime. I have a bus from Gorime to Ankara and then I'm staying at an airport hotel in Ankara um, before my flight to Dubai tomorrow and I am just exhausted. I also woke up and I feel my sinuses. Um, I've had a runny nose which thankfully has cleared up a little bit from this morning but I'm hoping it stays away because when I was younger and I was 18 and first started traveling I would get the worst sinus infections pretty often when I was traveling and it kind of subsided when I got older but I, I'm just nervous because I've got another week left and I do not want to be like feeling like I have a brick on my face But so far I'm hopeful and I have the whole like today pretty much a chill day I'm just getting back to Ankara and then in Ankara It's just me in the airport hotel waiting for my flight tomorrow, which isn't too early So I have some time to just relax drink hot tea and hopefully it'll go away